some of the biggest movies you've ever seen dressed their actors out of Helen Uffner vintage clothing. Helen didn't start her collection to dress movie stars. Her parents left Europe with almost nothing, so as a young woman she went to thrift stores to create a history for herself and to save fine workmanship. Then one day, the costume designer from Woody Allen's movie Zelig came to her apartment and bought her entire rack of 1920s clothing. And that's when I thought, well, what if I rented it instead, then I'd get it back. And that's how it started. After that, she dressed Meryl Streep in Out of Africa. She dressed Oprah, Whoopi Goldberg, and others in the color purple. She dressed Tom Hanks in Bridge of Spies, Michael Caine in The Cider House Rules, and Michael Keaton in Birdman. She dressed Beyonce playing Etta James in Cadillac Records. And recently, one of Helen's dresses was worn by Taylor Page as Dussie May in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It was a beautiful 1920s brown uh, silk chiffon and lace dress. She also provided clothes for the 2020 film, The Trial of the Chicago Seven. We rented quite a lot of men's things for it, but primarily the, the star of the show was a fringe jacket that Sasha Baron Cohen wore. And apparently it looked exactly like the jacket that was originally worn by his character. Abby Hoffman. Yes. Here at Helen Uffner Vintage Clothing, everything is organized by decade and style, and each piece is marked by size. And it's a paradise if you like traveling back in time. These outfits were not created as costumes. They're authentic clothes, which is helpful when the camera comes in for close-ups. Helen has also dressed a lot of people for theater, including cabaret for three years. Helen's warehouse in Long Island City has more than 50,000 items. She's often consulted about what clothing a character might wear, and she knows her stuff. We're in the Edwardian era. So this is a beautiful evening gown of black silk net, and it's all embroidered in cream, little swirly flowers. This is 20. And a good clue would be the interest is at the hip. Mm. It looks like a regular suit. It has a wonderful vest. And open it up, and what do you discover on the inside? <laughs> Knickers. Who, who wore this when? I guess a gentleman might wear this in the 1920s. Is there one movie that is particularly dear to your heart? Yes, it's a short called Torta Bluma. It was an award-winning short, as a matter of fact, based on a true story about Treblinka. It was taking place in the concentration camp. I had lost my uncles, my grandparents, all in Treblinka. So I said, tell you what, I'm gonna give you everything for free, as long as I can have a dedication at the end of the movie to each of my family members that was killed there. And they said, yes, and I, and I have that now. Helen has gotten clothes from antique fairs, estate sales, and often donations. We get a lot of calls from private people that have families that have passed away, and that makes both of us happy because I give them a new life, and they don't have to throw the things away as if they meant nothing. Many TV shows come to Helen, including Saturday Night Live. And of course, her hats are enchanting. What era is this one from? That one's Edwardian. I love this one. Now, this is sort of Audrey Hepburn-esque, right? Yes. In the 20s, you would have worn a cloche hat, and you would have worn it close to your eyebrows. Here's mine. Oh, yeah, don't we yeah. look like <laughs> girls ready to go Let's out. do flapping. <laughs> I'm Donna Hanover for Arts in the City.